Namo namaha and welcome back. Let's turn quickly now to writing the letters of our next class of consonants, the cha varga. Uh, these are the palatal stops and the palatal nasal. Now, the unvoiced, unaspirated palatal is the cha gara. It's written in three steps. Step one is to start about halfway down below your top line, then make a small horizontal. Now, come back to the halfway point of that horizontal and make a kind of U shape, a partial uh, U, maybe. Uh, then step two is to make a vertical line that touches the end of that U shape that you had just made. Uh, then step three now is going to be uh, to make your horizontal top line. Uh, I want to note here that uh, the font that you see shows that this horizontal line is also touching your downward vertical. Uh, but generally, when most people write cha, the horizontal line doesn't touch the vertical uh, and it stays kind of an open uh, little cup shape. Uh, the next we have the unvoiced aspirate palatal. This is the cha gara. Cha is personally my favorite Devanagari character uh, in the alphabet. Uh, there are three steps to make the cha. Step one is to start about a quarter of the way down from the top line, make a double loop going towards the right, a backwards three that's gonna look a lot like we did with our ga. Uh, if you remember, but on the right, instead of ending in a vertical line, uh, here we're going to keep kind of going with the bottom. Um, we're going to go up from the bottom of our backwards three and make a loop that curls back uh, and comes back down to touch the curve that we made. To me, it looks sort of like a cloud uh, and it's very fun to write. Uh, then make a small vertical connecting this cloud that you made to the top line. Then your third step is to make your horizontal top line and you've made your beautiful chakara. Have fun with it. Uh, you'll be writing it actually quite a lot because it appears in verbs like gachati, uh, he or she goes, uh, ichami, I want to uh, do something. Uh, uh, so you'll see it a lot. Our next consonant is the voiced, unaspirated palatal, jokara. Ja is pretty simple, it's got three steps. First, you start from halfway down and make a kind of little U, a little cup shape uh, that, that's only about a quarter of the size of the whole space. Now extend the end of your little U that you made as a horizontal going towards the right. Step two now is to make a vertical bar going all the way down uh, that intersects, that touches your horizontal. And step, the last step is to make your top line and you have your jakara. The next stop is your jakara, the voiced aspirate palatal. It's a little bit complicated, but it also doesn't usually occur very often in Sanskrit, so at least you don't have to stress out too much. Uh, plus, it looks a lot like the vowel e that you had made. Uh, so, in the end, it's not really hard, too hard to make. It's nothing too terribly new. Uh, Jakara has four steps. Step one, in fact, is to make your e gara, if you recall how to do that. Start at the top line, go down a tiny little bit, then make an S shape, and at the bottom, give it a loop and a little tail going down towards the right. Step two then is to make a short little horizontal, uh, like for example, you had made with your uh gara. Uh, then the third step is to make a vertical bar going to the, on the, to the right of that, going all the way down, touching the, the middle uh, horizontal. And then the final step is to make your horizontal top line. Uh, and then you have your jagara. Finally, we're going to have our palatal nasal, the nyakara, which is also easy to make, actually, uh, even though maybe a little bit hard to pronounce. Uh, the nyakara uh, is made to look a lot like the jakara, actually. Just start by making a little backwards C uh, uh, halfway down from the top line, then make a short horizontal going to the right from that backwards C. And then the step three is to make your vertical line that'll touch the right end point of that horizontal that you just made. Now finish it all off with your top line and you're done with your nya. Okay, that's it. Practice your ch varga, maybe write each one a dozen times. Uh, see if you can also write the, ch the k varga that you learned last time. And we'll see you in the next segment where we'll take on our next class of consonants, the retroflexes, the t varga. Danyavadaha punarmilamaha.